Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. I am beyond excited to share this beautiful collection with you guys today. This is the China Glaze My Little Pony collection. It consists of 12 creams, glitters, shimmers, and even a holographic nail polish. I know I was shocked myself, but so incredibly excited. It's not that often that you see a mainstream line coming out with hollow polishes. So it makes it even more exciting. These have bottle caps that have the My Little Pony logo printed on them. So it's not a plastic wrap or anything like that. It's actually printed on the bottle cap and also printed on there are words that are very significant to My Little Pony such as kindness, generosity, honesty, loyalty, laughter, and magic. Even if you're not into My Little Pony yourself, I'm sure you know someone that is very into it like a child or a sister or a niece or a friend. I myself do not watch My Little Pony nowadays, but when I was a little girl, you guys, I was super obsessed with My Little Pony. It was like my favorite cartoon, my favorite dolls and ponies, and I was super, super into it. So this collection holds a special place in my heart. I'm also going to be sharing with you the Collector's Edition Songbird Serenade Duo. These are two polishes that come in a set and they are limited edition only. They also come with two adorable best friend rings, one for you, one for your best friend. These are super cute. Before we get started on the swatches, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about current day My Little Pony. So I haven't seen or watched My Little Pony since I was, what, six, seven years old. So I took a trip to Target and I wanted to see what they look like nowadays. And I was just floored. The My Little Ponies nowadays are so different from what they were back in the 80s when I was a little girl. I mean, they have this huge section of toys and stuffed animals and little dolls that you can play with. I mean, there's so much. I remember there being just as much when I was little, but they just look so different. I feel like they have like this Japanese style now, like a Japanese anime style, which they didn't when I was little. I also noticed that the ponies nowadays are super tiny. When I was little, the My Little Ponies that I collected were huge and they were so fun to play with. My most prized possession was the My Little Pony Paradise Estate, which was basically a huge mansion where all of my ponies lived and I would play with it like every single day. It was my obsession of life. So even though the ponies nowadays are a lot smaller and they're so different, even their hair is different, you guys. I mean, when I was little, I used to braid their hair. Their hair was like the main point of the ponies. Like it was just so fun to play with their hair. I really wanted to show you guys some of my vintage My Little Ponies, but I searched high and low in my house and I couldn't find them. All right, let's finally get into the swatches. First up is Applejack of my eye, and this is a beautiful watermelon pinky red Crelly. incredible formula so juicy and buttery this one was opaque almost on the first coat but i did two coats here super glossy i love this formula this polish is named after applejack which is one of the characters from my little pony and this is the original vintage applejack you see how different they are oh i miss my little ponies they were so cute She's a Maniac is a bright hot pink filled with pink shimmer. I love this one so much. I was surprised because it does dry very matte. And I usually don't like matte polishes, but this one is stunning. It had a great formula 
opaque and too easy coats that pink shimmer is subtle but it's so gorgeous this is a perfect polish for little girls I wanted to see how this would look glossy so I also added a glossy top coat and this is how it looks what do you guys think do you like it better matte or glossy I usually go for glossy but I think this time you guys I'm gonna go with the matte Sweet as Pinkie Pie is a strawberry milkshake pastel pink. This one was a little bit patchy on the first coat, but evens out so yummy and delicious on the second coat glossy buttery and smooth I love this color this polish is named after Pinkie Pie which is one of the adorable ponies and I think this color is perfect for little girls so if you have a daughter or a niece that loves my little pony this is a perfect shade to get her kill him with kindness is a banana pudding pastel yellow cream I really wish this had a better formula, but it's a pastel yellow and it's expected. So I did two and a half coats on this one and I still saw a little bit of patchiness here and there. Nothing too crazy, but you know, I'm picky. So um, don't overload your brush because it will flood your cuticles. You have to be careful applying this. I love the result though. And to me, it looks exactly like banana pudding. Cutie Mark the Spot is a gorgeous pastel mint cream. Don't overload your brush on this one. It is tricky. But don't do thin coats either because then it's just going to look super patchy. So you kind of have to do thicker coats on this one. It took me two coats to get this opaque. And look at that minty gorgeousness. This polish is named after all of the cutie marks that the ponies have on their side of their bodies. Like rainbows and apples and balloons. One polished pony is a beautiful light turquoise filled with silver shimmer. This beauty had an amazing formula. It was almost opaque on the first coat, but I did two coats here just to even everything out. The shimmer is beautiful. You can see it in the bottle. It's very, very subtle, so you're not it's not going to stand out on your nail, but it is so gorgeous. I really love this one. Too Busy Being Awesome is a teal cerulean blue cream. I love this color so so much I had to color correct it because on camera it was coming up super blue so I changed it a little bit and this is what it looks like in real life it's it leans a bit more toward teal it's not really blue I love it it's incredible it was opaque in one coat but I did two coats like on my ring finger because it just needed one more coat so it's almost a one coater if you do really thick coats do two coats just in case the big question is did it stain so these are my nails after I wore this polish for about an hour and I took it off as you can see my pointer my pinky and my middle finger are practically okay I have a little bit of staining on the side of my finger on my middle finger and my ring finger is pretty stained and that's because my nail is peeling on the bottom there so that's where the color sunk in but overall this polish I mean it does stain it depends you guys it depends on a case-by-case -case basis if your nails stain easily this is gonna stain you so wear double up on the base coat 
and expect some staining but don't let that stop you from wearing this because it is such a beautiful color I just canter lot is a grape purple jelly base filled with holographic glitter This polish literally stopped me in my tracks when I was unboxing it. It is so gorgeous and stunning. I am absolutely in love. It has amazing coverage. It is opaque in two coats, which was incredible to me. Don't do thick, thick coats because it will goop up and you're going to need a glossy top coat. Outside, this is, oh my goodness, out of this world. It sparkles insanely with those hollow glitters. Oh, I am so in love with this polish, you guys. It is amazing. This is named after the My Little Ponies Canterlot Castle. I still like the Paradise Estate better. Where's the Party Cannon at is a berry plum jelly base filled with hollow glitter. This beauty is the sister of I Just Canterlot. She's just in a berry plum shade, which is equally as gorgeous. Same formula, amazing opacity, two coats. If you guys want to use a peel off base coat for this, it could help with removal. I didn't have an issue removing it. Again, this totally sparkles outdoors. It is gorgeous and stunning. The sun really captures all of the hollow glitter and just makes this polish stand out so much under the sun. Pinkie Pie never leaves home without the party cannon. So that is what this polish is named after. There's a really cute clip on YouTube of Pinkie Pie and the party cannon and I wish I could show it to you guys but I don't want Hasbro to take my video down. So go to YouTube, search Pinkie Pie party cannon and you'll find it. It's adorable. Icy Ponies is a silver linear holographic. Our very first true one coater in the collection. This polish is not only special because it is a hollow, but it is a one coater outdoors. Oh my goodness. This is another one that stopped me in my tracks absolutely beautiful just totally sparkles in the sun with that hollow oh this is incredible if you only get one polish from this collection it has to be this one so i'm not doing dupes for this video if you do want to see some dupes i'll link my friend phoebe moon's video down below she did dupes for her video i just didn't want this to be like a 45 minute video but i did want to point out that icy ponies is very similar to space race and i just wanted to point that out because i noticed it right away this is what they look like side by side swatched h m looks a little bit like it has more holographic in it Icy Ponies is a little bit more subtle, but I will be comparing these on my blog, thepolishedpursuit.com. So make sure that you head over there to check that comparison out. Let Your Twilight Sparkle is a purple and blue glitter topper. I wanted to do one coat over white polish and one coat over black polish just to compare to see what would look better. What do you guys think? Which one do you like best? I chose the one coat over black. I think it looks absolutely incredible. This is what they both look like outdoors and this is what made me decide that I liked the one coat over black much more than one coat over white. It just stands out much more. This polish is named after Twilight Sparkle which is an adorable pony. Here's what it looks like with one coat over black. Outdoors under shade this is 
amazing. You can really see the purple to blue shift. It is gorgeous, absolutely stunning. So I highly recommend that you do one coat over black and the shift will be much more noticeable. I couldn't stop photographing this polish because I love when a polish has that shiftiness to it. It's just so incredible and looks beautiful on the nails. Hey girl, hey is a white and gold iridescent glitter topper. I automatically knew that this wasn't going to look good over white because it's such a light glitter topper and it has white glitter in it. So I knew it was a no brainer to put one coat of this over black. It was just going to stand out much, much more outdoors under direct sunlight. This is beautiful. It glows. You can see the white glitter in there, but outdoors under shade this is where it truly comes to life it almost looks green like a green to bronze beautiful shift it is just amazing again i couldn't stop photographing this it was just so beautiful i love it so much now i'm going to show you guys the two polishes from the songbird serenade collector's edition these are two limited edition shades and they do not come with the core collection Best Ponies Forever is an antique gold foil. This one was incredibly brush strokey. You can clearly tell the brush strokes in my application. It is not a forgiving polish, so you do have to be really careful when you're applying it. Also, do not overload your brush because you will flood your cuticles. The good thing about this polish is that it is a one coater. I'm not crazy about foils. I don't like the brush strokes. They drive me nuts, <laughs> but some people love this type of polish. And last but not least, to close out this beautiful collection is Songbird Serenade. This is a black polish filled with rainbow micro glitter. Wow, I was so shocked that this was a one coater. It is so beautiful. You can't tell that it has glitter unless you look really close from far away. It just looks like a black polish. The rainbow glitter is very subtle, but up close, it looks stunning. I really like this one. I think it's different and I love that they added it to this collection. So that's it guys. I hope you were as happy and excited about this collection as I was. I hope all of my swatches were helpful so that you can decide which ones you're going to purchase from this collection or if you're going to purchase the whole entire collection because you fell in love like I did. The official launch of the China Glaze My Little Pony collection is July 3rd. I know they're going to be selling it at Sally Beauty in the US. So you might want to check the China Glaze website to see where else they were, will be selling it. It was so easy to fall in love with so many of the polishes in this collection because they were all so beautiful. My favorites were Applejack of My Eye, Cutie Mark the Spot, I Just Can't a Lot, Icy Ponies, of course and let your twilight sparkle. Don't forget to leave me a comment below letting me know which ones were your favorites.